This next story is about bro broken promises, promises made about the Obama Presidential Center. The Park District is halting work on the relocation of a Jackson Park athletic field to build that center. That shines a spotlight on whether other promises made by the city in pushing for the Presidential Center have been kept. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely has more. City Hall promised federal law was being followed as it tore down up to 40 Jackson Park trees to make room for the new athletic field. But the feds aren't so sure. Now, says the city, in light of concerns expressed by federal agencies, the Chicago Park District will stop construction until the feds give the green light, which watchdogs insist the city should have obtained in the first place. Did the city blow it here? I think the city often blows it in moving too quickly. Critics compare it to Mayor Daley's bulldozing of Meg's Field, another city action hastily performed without federal approval. I believe the city has misrepresented the facts on every issue that's come to public attention. Herbert Kaplan and Protect Our Parks is suing to stop the project. And then there's taxes, broken promise number two. The mayor originally said this would not cost taxpayers a dime. Yes, well, we knew that was ridiculous from the beginning. Closing Cornell Drive and reconfiguring other roads will cost $174 million. And earlier this year, state lawmakers quietly approved a possible property tax hike, especially for the Obama Center. There is this hidden tax in the, the budget, uh, the museum tax, that allows the Chicago Park District to fund the operations of the Obama Center. Uh, somebody's not being truthful to the public. Now, late today, the city announced an agreement with the Obama Center for a 99-year lease on that Jackson Park site. The cost? $10. Once built, the city would own the 20-acre campus, but the center would pay to maintain it. That lease agreement still must be approved by the city council. Reporting live from the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Robin Erica? How, how much is this delay going to set back putting together the Obama Presidential Center? Well, they're telling us they don't believe it will delay the groundbreaking at all. And once again, the groundbreaking has been pushed back. It was scheduled this year. It's now scheduled to take place next year. All right. Thank you, Derek.